There's something that our students hear about, um, and occasionally it's mentioned in the safety sections in textbooks and certainly in kitchen safety, about how to put out a grease fire. You know, I can tell them what happens. I can do a physical description of what's going on. Grease is in the frying pan. You put some water in there. The water's more dense than the grease. It sinks to the bottom, hits the surface of the hot pan. It boils immediately, and the droplets of grease are thrown up in the air, and you get this great aerosol, which if there's an open flame around, then will catch on fire, and you get a fireball shot up in the air. Kids are like, oh yeah, sure. And they really don't have an appreciation for it. They don't have any real sense of what that means. And so it was like, well, maybe I ought to be able to show them what a grease fire looks like. Um, I did originally use grease for this, but it just stinks up the room. And so I started using other materials, and I've kind of settled on using wax, uh, paraffin. The, this is uh, commercial stuff, but uh, you could just take a candle and chop a chunk off the bottom and throw it in. So I'm going to dump a small amount of paraffin into this tuna can and a small amount into the dish below as well. Um, and set that aside. And now what I'm going to do is heat this from the bottom in a second. Where'd my aim and flame go? Oh, here it is. Oh, wake up, wake up. That's a nice flame right there. You can certainly do this with a Bunsen burner. This is just convenient for the system that we have here. Set this aside, and we'll heat it from the bottom. What's going to happen now is, slowly but surely, the wax inside the tuna can is going to start to melt. So I'll give that a little bit of time to melt. Uh, it'll take a minute or two. I'll kind of keep an eye on it as I'm doing this. And we'll get it going. Already, I think you can see a little bit of smoke being generated. I'm not sure if that's tuna oil from the can or if it's uh, actually the paraffin, but one or the other, it's uh, starting to give me some vapor coming off the top. Now, if I let this go long enough and I continue to heat it, it's going to smoke some more. And I'm going to ask them to turn on the exhaust fan at this point so that we don't fill the room up with paraffin smoke. So if somebody will flip that on for me, I'd appreciate it. And I think you can see the smoke now. Hey, there we go. <laughs> all right, right now I've got down in the bottom of the can, I have uh, all liquid, and I'm getting more and more smoke. For the sake of speed and just to deal with it, I'm going to ignite the top by just bringing the flame up. Let's see if it's ready to go yet. Not quite. I'm going to have there. There, well, not yet. Now let's heat it a little bit more from the bottom. We haven't got quite enough yet. You know what I might try doing here? Huh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, as you can probably see, and in fact, it would be nice to go to dusk on the lights at this point in time. You can probably see that it's burning a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is, in a, in a moment, I'm going to squirt some water in here. And that water, because it is more dense, is going to sink down to the bottom. And when it sinks down to the bottom, it's going to aerosol the wax that I've got inside there. And we're going to see an interesting effect. So if you're ready and focused, here goes the water. So if you try to put out a grease fire with water in your kitchen, it's not going to work. On the other hand, you can put it out by smothering it pretty easily. Either with a damp towel or putting the lid on the pot or whatever. A great demonstration of a, something that's common in the house. And kids are wondering, well, why don't I use water? And they, you really need to see it. Once you've seen that fireball shoot up in the air, it's like, hey, I'm not putting water on that frying pan when it's, when it's burning. Uh, I know some of, the, some of the household instructions say to put baking soda on it. 
you know, I've tried that, and unless I dump a lot of baking soda on it, nothing happens. And to do that, you've got to get over top of it and shake the stuff on. Not an easy thing to do when you've got all that flame coming out. Smothering it with a wet towel, the lid to the pan, something like that, much, much more effective than baking soda. And then this works pretty neat. And it's such a simple thing to do, and it illustrates something really useful they need to know about. It's a grease fire.